we had three baby lions at the zoo that sadly passed away. But this is the lone survivor right here. Ow! Ow! And it just calms the lions down so well. We're gonna start digging the hole for these little lions. We're gonna place them in here right now. And now we are going to go and bury these baby lions. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. It is a very, very windy day here in sunny South Florida, but I can't complain. It is absolutely gorgeous out. But for today's video, unfortunately, it is going to be a little bit of a sad one. We had three baby lions at the zoo that sadly passed away. If you wanna find out what happened to the lions, why they passed away, guys, stick along for today's video. You guys will find out all of that information shortly. But I want to give an update on a very, very old video. If you guys remember, way long time ago, last June, my buddy Zach and Monster Mike called me up and they said, hey Jacob, there's a python in this sewer. I immediately rushed over and we pulled out just literally an absolutely massive python from the sewer. And if you remember, I actually did a catch and cook video afterwards. I skinned the snake out and I said I was going to get it tanned. Well, I finally did and it is complete and it is right here. Take a look at this. This is the python from the sewer. We're gonna pull this skin out right here and I just wanna show you guys just how incredible this skin is. So I'm gonna start right here. I mean, this python ended up being just absolutely massive. So I'm just gonna lay the skin right here. And this is a premium preserved Burmese python skin. Let me just, uh, let me, let me put the camera down. I'll be back with all of you in a sec. Oh yeah, would you look at this right here. This is one absolutely massive python skin. I mean, look, I'm laying down next to it and it is just absolutely massive. I mean, look at it when I put my arm on this. We literally pulled this thing out of a sewer here in South Florida. Look at this skin right here. I mean, it came out just absolutely amazing. Look at the skin. It starts right here. The skull is being done by a buddy of mine, but look, it just goes all along here. Look at it right here with my foot on it. Huge python. Now the Burmese python is an invasive species down here in South Florida. Let me give you that wide shot. Look at that skin. It came out absolutely amazing. So I want to give a special shout out to my boy Marcos right here on Instagram. He just did an absolutely amazing job skinning that python. Thanks so much, Marcos. Now that you guys got an update on this python, let's hop into today's video and you guys will find out why these baby lions died. So I just got over here to Mario's house. Mario is not here right now, but guys, you are gonna freak out when you see this little baby lion. Take a look at her right here. She's just hanging on. She's just hobbling along on me. Hi, sweet girl. Hello. So this right here is a 10 day old little baby lion and she is a girl. Oh, you don't wanna be picked up? Okay, you can go down. Now this girl right here is one of the survivors all three of her siblings passed away. You guys heard about it earlier. We are going to talk about why this happened, how this happened. It really is just a tragedy, but this is the lone survivor right here. She is just absolutely adorable right now. She's kind of looking for a bottle right now. She is just walking around having a good time. So this right here is what a 10 day old lion looks like. You can see that a 10 day old lion is pretty small. You can see that they kind of don't even really look like lions just yet. But I want you guys to take a look at these eye spots right here. If you look at these eye spots, these spots right here are used in the wild against predators. When the predators see those eye spots, the predators actually think that that's another animal looking back at them. So this helps the lion actually blend in in the wild. It helps them not get eaten by other predators. When, if the lion's looking that way, the predator thinks they're also looking that way as well because those little black dots look like eyes. At this age, the lions actually have very poor balance. So they kind of just hobble around. They don't have much balance inside of them but this little girl right here thinks she's going for a bottle she thinks my finger right now is a bottle and she'll actually suck on it but she actually has no teeth right now it's just gums right in there so she thinks that this is a little bottle look how adorable she is she is just one adorable lion and if you were to feel this right now the amount of pressure that is on my finger is just absolutely ridiculous. Right now this lion girl is just trying to kind of just climb up on me and this is actually very good for her. It's actually helping build the muscles inside of her body. It's gonna help her gain that traction better. Oh my gosh, she's just trying to eat my finger right now. Go right now and comment down below if you would have a lion chew on your finger because she is hungry right now. She's wanting some food. But I wanna show you guys her little claws. Her little claws are just so adorable. Come here, little girl, come here. You can see those little claws right there. They're just so, so tiny. We actually trim them so they're not too sharp, but you can see she's got those little claws. They're not very developed yet. Hi, sweet girl. 
Here, let me give you some belly rubs. Belly rubs for the lion girl. Oh my goodness. Hello, sweet girl. Look at this, guys. Comment down below right now if you would give a lion belly rubs because, wow, this little girl is just loving it so, so much. Look how cute she is. She's even chewing on her paws. Look at this little lion. She is just so, so tiny. So cute. Hi, sweet girl. Hello, hello, hello. We are now out here on the patio and we are with this gorgeous little 10 day old lion girl. So what I want all of you guys to go do right now is I want all of you to stop what you're doing, think of a girl lion name and go comment down below. If we like the name for this little lion girl, guess what, we are going to shout you out in the next video. I mean, she is just absolutely adorable. She is a very, very sleepy little lion girl right now. And one way that we can actually calm the lions down is we kind of hold them like the mom. We'll kind of put two fingers right here, one right here supporting her full body weight and we'll just go ow, 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 and it just calms the lions down so well. And then they just sit there just like a little baby. I mean, she doesn't even look real. She looks like a little stuffed animal, but she is very much alive and well. She's just very calm right now. She just ate and she is very sleepy. And you can see she's got that very, very fat little lion belly right there. So if you guys look right here, this is actually where her umbilical cord was. So when she was in her mom's stomach, this right here is what was attached and feeding her. Oh, you wanna go back up this way? Oh, okay, sweet girl. So like I was saying, unfortunately, all three of her siblings passed away and we are going to be burying them in this video and it really is quite sad for me to just talk about. Basically what happened is there was four baby lions, including this sweet girl right here. One of the lions was eaten by the mother. Now this happens all the time in the wild. You know, this is the reality of exotic animals. So the mom decided to eat one of the baby lions. Maybe the mom felt that the lion was not viable. Maybe she felt the lion was going to die. She ate one of them and then and the other two, she actually crushed by sitting on them. A lot of times in captivity, the moms don't take care of their animals and this is exactly what happened. So we had to intervene and we had to pull her from her mother so we could hand rear her. So we're going to be burying them in a little bit. But I just wanted to bring her out here right now. I mean, she is just so, so adorable. And if you actually look right here on her spots, you can see that she's got some black here and she's very spotted. These little guys have spots for about the first year and a half of their life. That actually helps them blend in in the wild from predators, eventually it'll just be a nice brown color. I mean, she is just one good little lion girl. She's so, so cute right here. And I wanna show you her little teeth right here. Well, she doesn't have teeth, she just has gums. You wanna eat my finger right now? It's kinda hard to see, but there's no teeth there. There's just gums, and she thinks that she's sucking on a bottle right now, like I was showing you guys inside. I mean, she is just one adorable little lion girl. Oh my gosh, the pressure she has on me right now, I can barely even pull away. It's sorry, little girl, look at her little lion tongue. So right now I'm going to go put her back inside so she can have a little lion nap, and we are going to be then sadly burying her siblings. And here we are, guys. We are now about to bury these little baby lions. Now guys, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm a little bit congested because honestly, before I was about to do this, I had to you know, take a moment, I cried a little bit. If I'm being honest, I have to be honest with all of you, I was crying a little bit because we have the two baby lions that are wrapped up in a towel in here, we're gonna have to bury them now. This is the reality of exotic animals. Some live, some die, that's the reality of nature and it just is so, so sad that this has happened. So we have the little babies right here. I have my glasses on because I'm a little bit red in the eyes. I, I just, I, I gotta show my feelings on camera. I'm trying to keep this as real as possible for all of you guys. So we have the little lions inside of this bag right now. I have my shovel right here. We're gonna walk over this way and we're going to be burying these baby lions. One minute, 37 seconds later. So we're now here in the backyard and I scanned over the entire five acre property and I decided that this spot right here would be best for the two baby lions. So there was four total again. We had one that is the lone survivor that you saw inside. Let me place them right here. We had one that was the lone survivor. The mother actually ate one and the other two had crushed tracheas. It is just so incredibly sad. But this right here is where I decided I would like to bury them. We're going to start with our ground breaking in three, two, one. Here we go, guys. We're gonna start digging the hole for these little lions. We are just about done, guys. We have just dug the hole for these little baby lions. You can see we dug it pretty deep and pretty wide. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be placing these little lions inside of their burial place. So we're just gonna come, we're gonna place them in here right now. 
they've got them in place. This is just so incredibly sad that we have to even do this. So now we're going to begin the process of actually covering these baby lions into their final resting place. We got our shovel. And now we are going to go and bury these baby lions. We have just now finished burying the baby lions. We're just gonna go right now. We're going to compact the soil just so no other animals dig them up. And that seems to be it. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy it, you know, despite the circumstances, despite finding out that we had some baby lions pass away. It kills me on the inside. I'm very sad. I've cried about it. And this is just the reality of nature. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please go give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought. And don't forget to give the little baby lion a name. And if you guys enjoy the content and you are not subscribed to the channel already, well, guess what, guys? It is the first link down below. I would love it if all of you would go subscribe.